I'm Kevin Hall, CEO of Global Integration. We're an ideas, consulting and training company that specializes in people management in complex, matrixed, virtual and global organizations. I'd like to share with you some of our ideas on working in these very complex organizations. In this video, I want to talk about how companies use matrix management to break through traditional silo thinking and increase cross-functional and cross-geographic cooperation. One reason that companies introduce a matrix organization is to overcome what's sometimes called the silo mentality. In a traditional organization, these were what I call vertical structures, functions such as R&D, HR and marketing that usually operated within countries. These vertical silo organizations were very strong and focused. They worked well at focusing work on functional and local priorities and provided a very clear power and career structure. They worked pretty well in simpler country organizations where work could be completed largely within the silo. As the need for cross-functional and cross-country work, or what I call horizontal work, increases, however, these silos can get in the way of cooperation across the organization. This is a silo. It's very strong and sealed. It's very hard to penetrate, that's the point. It was designed to protect and store the contents. And in a silo-based organization, all of the traditional power structure reinforces the importance of the silo. You climb the ladder within your silo. That's where your career was. Your silo manager decided on your pay and benefits. And your objective setting processes were all within the structure. In this kind of organization, it was tempting not to take so much account of anything that came from outside your own silo. Now when work starts to require cross-functional or international cooperation, it's essential that people cooperate across these traditional vertical silos. Now most organizations begin by using ad hoc or virtual teams to do that. We ask people in each of the silos to collaborate. However, when reporting lines, objectives, rewards and careers are all decided within the silo, we often find that the virtual team objective gets much less priority and attention than the functional or silo ones. So next, organizations introduce dotted line reporting to the virtual team leaders. With a dotted line, there is a formal right for the virtual team leader to get involved in objective setting, performance appraisal, etc. However, the reality is that the solid line or main reporting line manager has the balance of power and tends to get most priority. So if you can't meet your objectives using informal or dotted line reporting, then organizations tend to move towards some form of formal matrix organization structure. In a matrix, people will have two or more formal reporting lines of similar importance. A functional manager in a country, for example, may report both to their country general manager and to the functional manager internationally. In this way, they have to take into account the needs of both in prioritizing their work. Both reporting lines have an input into objective setting and evaluation of performance. By making individuals take both into account and encouraging line and functional people to align their objectives more effectively, a matrix forces people to think outside their silos. We're also seeing quite a number of organizations creating horizontal organizations such as supply chain or global accounts where most or all of the power is aligned to the horizontal organization globally and the vertical structures and functions are much weaker. Now this can work where the needs of the workflow are truly global and the driving factors but we risk producing horizontal rather than vertical silo thinking if we don't balance the power of the horizontal and the vertical. So if you need to increase cooperation across your silos, virtual teams or a matrix structure may help, but the real challenge is creating the right balance of power between the vertical and horizontal reporting lines. To find out more about our matrix management training and consulting, together with more free videos, articles and podcasts, please visit globalintegration.com. Thank you for watching and good luck.